Are you looking for sealed product and singles? You can find it all on Channel Fireball. Please use my Tailmon affiliate code when checking out to help support my content. Looking for PTGO codes? Photon Store has all the latest sets and promos instantly delivered to your email. You can use Tailmon code when checking out for 5% off. If you're from Europe, Millipods Gaming has a wide array of sealed products, singles and more. You can use Tailmon code when checking out for 5% off. Want to show off your love for Tailmon? Check out my 2021 merch. These new hoodies and shirts are available on Amazon. Click on the link in the description to get yours. Alright, welcome everyone to another 50 keys, 50 decks episode of this crazy challenge that is um, very tough, yeah, very tough. Um, we've been facing a lot of look metal, which makes everything so much more difficult when I'm not playing fire decks. Uh, today's deck is Whimsicott, okay, the non-GX Whimsicott, so let's see what happens. Yeah, let's see what happens. Fire Pokemon coin, let's just go first. That's a good indication that we're not up against ADP or um, a look metal. So that's already like, we're already winning with that. Yeah, we're already winning with that. And it is indeed a fire deck, right? As expected. I don't believe I have to worry about my bench getting targeted, so I'm gonna get rid of the Mew right here. I'll just establish another Cotony. And I'll go ahead and attach. And yeah, this is as 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 setup y as you would imagine, right? So I'm gonna attach both Lucky Eggs and then I'm gonna pass. Hopefully no tool scrapper. It seems like no one's playing tool scrapper. So pretty good start. I would say pretty good start. I could have avoided not. I could have avoided, oh my God, <laughs> here we go. I could have not played the energy, not because of that, right? But because I only need one energy attachment. But if this is like Scent is Scorch with hammers, that's so annoying. <laughs> All right, well, now I'm gonna Marty my opponent, which is not ideal when they literally did nothing. But I need to apply pressure, right? I want to get KO, so I just need to do my game. And looks like we're data changing. So looks like we are going to be data changing right here, which is fair, right? Oh my God. Unbelievable. <laughs> we are not going to be data changing. It's a Torkoal deck, I think we're okay, but so frustrating, man. So freakishly frustrating. Okay, my opponent's still dead drawing, but now I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna question the build of the deck, right? More than um, his actual hand, because. Any advantage it could have possibly had is now completely gone. Oh, so frustrating. <laughs> At least they're not doing anything. Okay, so let's let's refocus here. How? Oh. Three turns for everyone. <laughs> okay. 
Just give me a stupid supporter. Oh my god. <laughs> what the heck is this game? <laughs> okay. Still very much in this. It's apparently a Sid Rage VMAX deck. We're both literally drawing like crap. Both literally drawing like crap. <clears throat> Both drawing like crap. <laughs> I just kicked my life. Oh my god. What even is this game? I feel like I should take the weight. No, I'm not gonna do that. Cause I am a record. Oh my. <laughs> this is a true test of patience. A true, the truest test of patience. And there it is. <laughs> How many Jirachis on earth? I'm halfway through my deck and I've played one supporter. Okay, just kill my Drachi, please. Just do it. Generally, like, just do it. Just attach energy and do it. I won't mind. I promise I won't mind. Oh, boy. What? <laughs> what? The heck is happening right here? I don't understand. Oh, well, I, I guess I knew that was gonna happen, never mind. Okay, so I'll shuffle the top deck so I don't top deck Koopa. I'm sure I'll grab Eldegoss. Okay, I'm honestly gonna attach. And hope that my opponent kills me. This game should have been over by now. Absolutely over by now. Either I should have been dead or they should have been dead already. <laughs> it's crazy that this game is still going on. Okay. Why are you playing a Cinderace VMAX? A Salasal Torkoal deck with hammer. Fire, man. <sighs> okay. It's just like, I already know I'm gonna whiff energy. I already know it. I actually already know that I'm going to whiff an energy. Cause that's, that's how table one rolls. That is how table one rolls, unfortunately. I know, I'm being very negative, but look. Yeah, why do you know energy? I am down two energies, so I'm gonna put them back. What do I have? I, I just wanna put energy back. Put them back. Okay. And I draw with a Ricardo. Oh my gosh, thank you. All right, so I need three tools discarded. Do I expect Whimsicott to go down? Yes, Whimsicott will absolutely go down. Do I need this to pop? No, so I'm just gonna use the active. And I wanna put the research at the top, protecting myself from Marty, okay? So, Flying Fury, one, two, three, one third, okay, here we go, <laughs> here we go, oh gosh, 
That should have been a dead Zalazzle like five turns ago. <laughs> Okay, we see the attachment. Okay, they're down two welders, and they didn't do anything once again, so that's good. And 190 doesn't matter. 190 absolutely does not matter. Okay. Our hand is pretty good though, not gonna lie. Our hand is pretty hacking good. Okay, so I'll do this. Um... Yeah, I'll grab the Eldegoth, that's fine. Then I'm gonna use Oricorio, be good, Pablo, yeah, be a good Pokemon player. Okay, plenty of energy now. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and Dreamy Revelation. Meh. Okay, so we know Boss is our top deck. I'm still gonna protect myself from a potential Marnie. Marnie would be awesome though. Because then that means they're not using Welder. And we'll do that. We'll do that. And I need to discard five tool cards. So in order to get even more protection, I feel like I just discard everything on the bench. So definitely these three, right? So that's 130. 170. And the extra 40 are going to come from here. Just to have that, just in case. I know it doesn't make sense because I have a lot of cards in hand, but I want to protect myself from a weird stamp or Marty play, and I want to make sure I have a full hand, full of resources, ready to go. Okay, so that's why I'm keeping the tool in the act. I'm gonna two hit kill the active the V Max anyway, so that's fine. And I need a full welder. They didn't do it last turn, so they probably won't be able to do it this turn. Never mind. <laughs> that was probably their top deck. That feels unnecessary. Okay, they're not attacking. Their research was the top deck, actually. The research was the top deck. Okay, so now we have one plan. We attack as much damage as we can to Incinerate VMAX, and then we have boss's orders to chase the Incinerate VMAX wherever it is, take through prizes, and we win. That is the plan, right? Took us a while <laughs> to really get going or do anything at all after our Marty, right? Because Marty is Tailmon's number one sworn enemy, right? Like, I have a ton of haters overall in real life, but I feel like my biggest hater is Marty. I think my biggest hater is actually Marty. She's always rooting against me. Okay. I'm okay with this. I don't know if my opponent plays Reset Stamp or not, but I feel like taking a knockout here, and then that lets me keep a ton of tools in play, which is great. And then all I need to do is go boss KO this guy. However, if I go boss attack this guy, um, if he attacks me, then that's fine, right? That might actually be better. I think that might actually be better. In fact, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna attack this because that's the only thing that's powered up, right? I mean, they're gonna need a welder anyways. <laughs> and okay therefore I should put this to have access to the boss in case I get marked right and do I want to thin well this could be useful as well at some point probably not though oh but that would make me shuffle never mind never mind never mind okay so flying fury uh, one, two, three, four, that's 170. That's good enough, right? That is absolutely good enough. You know what? Just in case there's a weird Malolana or something. Just in case there's a weird Malolana, 90 damage. And then if I discard six tools, that's 340. Yeah, that's enough. Even if they attach a heat fire energy. So yeah, that, 
made sense to me, and I keep the Lucky again the active to protect myself from recent stamp and Marty. Not protect myself, but to just give me extra cards, right? All I need is to find cards to win, so that's why. And if I get Marty, then my all my U-turn boards will be at the very bottom of the deck. So maybe I should have used Quick Ball. I should have put Quick Ball at the top instead of uh, the um, the Elder Gods, because then that would shuffle my deck if I get Marnied, and that would increase my chance of finding the U-turn boards after my deck gets shuffled. So a little mistake in hindsight there. How am I down to four minutes? I, okay, so you can't see, but look, I am down to four minutes in the timer. So I've, I've used a lot of thinking time in this match. It's pretty straightforward now, though. They will to the active, it's game. They will to the bench, so now they need a switch. Now they're not using Malolana, right? And they're not using Marnie either. And... They're not even gonna, if they retreat, they're not even gonna KO me, so... Yeah, this is fine. This is absolutely fine. Alright, this is fine. <sighs> perfectly, perfectly fine. I don't think I have another boss, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I don't have another boss. So here, now I'll get rid of the Fion. Yeah, I don't have another boss, so now I just need to be patient. Um, I will, however, attach because they're out of hammers. And I'll just go one, two, three, four. Uh, the air balloon could be useful. And then now I'll put the quick ball, I guess, in the top. And then we'll go flying fury. I just need, I need three. Yeah, I need three. So one, two, three. Well, you know what? I'll get rid of this lucky egg. Just keep these in play. Yeah, just keep those in play. Yeah, that seems good. Oh, wait, no, that's bad. No, it's fine, it's fine. I just need three to KO this guy, it's fine. I think we got this. I think we got this. <clears throat> okay, that's an interesting decision right there. But this is game, right? Unless we get reset stamp, this is game. All right, perfect. <sighs> Plus one. Plus one. Like, why don't I get this matchup when I'm playing Colossal or Excadrill? Why do I play against Look Metal back to back to back to back? Alrighty, so we go Elder Goss, we get Boss, we go Boss. We go boop, we go boop, we go boop, and we go boop, 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 boop. Boop, city boop. All right. Plus one, at least. Plus one, at least. Now, give me a mute retack. Give me a mute retack in top four. Oh, the round's still not up. Okay, so I will be right back with the next round. All right, here we go. Round two. Round two. What are we up against? Give me a Mew 3 deck. Give me a Mew 3 deck without Jirachi. Or just give me a good starting hand, you know, like. <laughs> Not. Not quite what I had in mind. Not quite what I had in mind. Okay. Just whiff. Just pass. 
Just pass, Fred. No, that's not a pass. Yeah, we're not beating ADP. Not when you're going second. What? How greedy is that? How am I... We're gonna lose to an ADP that chooses to forego an attachment. Never punished. Why on earth will you discard that Ender Key? That is an atrociously bad play. Atrociously bad play. It's such a bad play. <sighs> All right. All right, I actually, if I'm gonna have a chance, okay. My only chance is to attack this guy with Hoopa and follow that up with a Whimsicott. So I need like a perfect Edene and I'm gonna need an Air Balloon on the Hoopa. So I actually need to save the Air Balloon right now. Uh, sure. <sighs> okay, I want to save you, the viewer, and me some frustration. And I'm just gonna concede here. Like. <sighs> How can I possibly dead draw every time? Like how? It truly, it just like, it completely baffles me. How I can accomplish this every game I know it's not every game I'm being extremely extremely um, exaggerating you know hyperbolic but it's like they do terrible plays like discard the energy and they never get punished and I'm just trying to draw some cards with the Dene you know like just some cards and I can't even do that. Just get a follow-up supporter. I can't even do that. I'm like, I'm gonna get a hit in. Those were my draws for the next three turns, right? Like, those were my actual draws for the next three turns. <sighs> Plus one, right? Plus one. <laughs> Can't expect much with Whimsicott, just plus one, right? No one said this would be easy. I warned you guys about the rage, right? Like, that's been a disclaimer since the very first video. There's gonna be a lot of raging, okay? There's gonna be a lot of raging in this run, a lot. It's like, why can't I draw a freaking supporter? Right, like that, that's what completely blows my mind. I am incapable of drawing a supporter. It's not like the decks are that I chose are bad. You know, it's, they generally are not bad. It's just I am incapable of drawing a stupid supporter. <laughs> it's either a stupid support, either I dead draw, or I run into an absolutely terrible matchup. There's no middle ground. <laughs> 
There's absolutely no middle ground. Because those would have been my draws for the next three turns, right? So that's a guaranteed that draw the next three turns. And like, even if my opponent completely whiffs here, right? Like, best case scenario. I top deck research, they completely whiff, and I get a KO on the station. And then they KO me, and then, well, and then maybe I have a chance, but probably not. <laughs> Ordinary rod in ADP. Ordinary rod in ADP. Terrible place, turn one. Terrible list, still lose. <laughs> anyway, catch you in the next key.